Welcome, young Jedi physicians, to Match Day 2016. It's a big day kind of knowing where I'll be able to practice, knowing you actually have a job, and knowing where you'll spend the next three years of my life for me. It's kind of one of those things you always think about, always in the future, but you never really realize it's coming, and then it's here. Match Day is the day of the year when all 144 medical schools and 18,000 medical students actually come together at the same time and open up their envelopes from the National Intern and Resident Matching Program. They've been out doing interviews for the past three or four months. They've been putting in a match list. The, the programs have to put in their list, and then the computer basically puts it all together. They open up their envelope, and they find out where they're going to be for the next three to seven years. So let me see those envelopes. Open your envelopes. <laughs> Internal medicine at Yale. I started med school with the intentions of going back to practice in my hometown of Immokalee and even through med school that's just become even stronger that need to serve the underserved and I think we get that here at FSU because their focus is on underserved medicine and rural medicine. So I'm glad to be going to Fort Myers which is an hour away from home and I'll be able to work with my community through the family medicine program there. We are so proud of them. They, they are matching in wonderful programs all over the country. We're very pleased that we were actually able to start some residency programs in the last few years, because this year we're keeping 43% of our class in the state. We have 12 of our students that are matching in Florida State-sponsored programs. We're really excited about that. They match in great programs. What I typically say is it's a good news, bad news story. The bad news is lots of our students go out of state for their residency program. The good news is they match in great places. We're so, so proud of them. Even better news is that we're tracking those students. They come back to Florida after their residency.